Hello, my little future Roonies. We're gonna be killing some Sims today. <laughs> It's another one of those videos where I get all violent and kill my sims. This one though is extra spicy because we're going to be basing the deaths today on the movie The Hunger Games. If you haven't seen it, um, you should do. They're actually a really good film series. Bit violent, bit let's just kill a load of teenagers, but you know, yeah. <laughs> That's so good crack. Basically, the theme of the movies is that there is like a capital and the 12 districts. The capital are punishing the districts for a rebellion. So the way they choose to punish them is each one of the districts has to send a tribute each year to fight in the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games is basically a big old arena where two tributes from each district have to fight it out and there's one winner and the winner survives and that's their prize. I feel like they also get loads of calls, like they get a nice house and stuff, which is good because a lot of them tend to just live in horrible places. But everybody else dies. Yeah, it's violent, it's brutal, it's gruesome. I thought we'd do it. <laughs> I thought we would build the Hunger Games arena in The Sims and then unleash my Sims in it, as you can probably tell. I also plan on unleashing Claire and Ali in it as well. Claire and Ali, myself, and my fiance in it. Look at their faces. Look how freaking clueless they look. You have no idea what is about to happen to you. So yeah, hopefully we survive. We shall find out, but first of all, we need to build the arena. So I was having a look online. These are the two. She basically goes into it twice. Just the main character from the Hunger, Get Hunger Games. Kind of not the reality you'd want, let's face it. But we're going to be doing this map here, which is the arena from the first game. May the odds be ever in your favor. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and build this. There is some spoilers in here if you haven't watched it already. I can see one. Uh, yeah, I can see two. I also found this little pin as well, which is pretty good. So basically they land in the middle. Is it the corn cornucopia, cornopia, corn, corn? Something corn, corny poo. I don't know, something. They all land in here and then everyone spreads out to try and survive. So we got like, uh, I don't know why I'm trying, I'm looking at a pin. But we've got like a lakey area here. There's a tree area here. There's like a field area here with a tent. There's fire trees here. I don't know how I'm gonna replicate that. There's a beautiful floor, flower area here. The flowers are deadly though, although they won't be in Sims. There's a cavey area here and there's like an animal-y area here. Also, they drop them these little care packages, but I won't be able to do everything. I don't think I'll be able to do care packages and they'll come with weapons already on them. So they won't have to run and get a weapon like they do in the Hunger Games, but we'll get it as close as I can. Now, this is the biggest lot I have found in The Sims. It is a 50 by 40 lot in, is it Newcrest? That kind of like bleh, blah name. Neighborhood. But we're gonna use this as our guide. So I think first things first We should definitely put the lake in first because that will help us get everything together And I always forget that to do a lake in sims you actually have to build a pool Which is a little bit annoying, but let's just do ourselves a little okay. It's just gone ahead and deleted already. Let's just do Seriously sims. Let's just go ahead and do ourselves a little lakey this is gonna get stressful, isn't it? Okay, many stressful hours later, we kinda, we have the little watery area, look. Pretty similar, pretty similar. I'll make it look more real, don't worry. The back seems to me to be a little bit mountainous, so let's go ahead and tackle that problem next. I don't like the terrain tool very much in this game because it puts these ugly, like, look, why, why do that? Like, not all hills have to have stupid mud all over them, you know? Some of them just have grass, like, some of them just have grass. But if you do them too steep, you get that stupid thing, and then you can see it from the map, and it's it's just all quite annoying, I'm not gonna lie. But mountain is good, because it means the Sims, they got no nowhere to hide. Nowhere at all to hide. Mainly because I don't think they can walk directly up something that's high. It's a cruel fate. Okay, so we've got a mountainy area at the back, as you guys can see. Then green trees here and red trees here. Let's get ourselves some trees in there. Not palm trees. It's not that kind of place. Now, believe it or not, this is me expressing, like, some caution with the amount of trees I plant. Because if they are too much behind the trees, we're not gonna be able to see them. So we won't be able to, like, know who's killed who, what the crack is like I want it to be able to like zoom in and tell me who's dying who's who's being killed by who I'm gonna put some at the back though because like I don't remember this in the movies okay I just don't remember this in the movies there should be like an auditorium where we can all watch the people die it is a real messed up future you know people just watching watching these teens fight it out sounds like some of my lunch breaks to be honest not now when I was in school me and Ali don't just like 
casually fight to the death at lunch. Okay, and then onto my red trees. This is exciting. Oh, <laughs> there are no red trees. I don't think that's what it had in mind, you know? Oh, we got some. Oh! We're fine. We're laughing. Okay, and then I'm very aware that I'm going a little bit too close to, like, my camping area here. So let's just budge you. It's too many of you. Goodbye. Budge all these a little bit closer together. Because this is the field of camping. Also grass. Loads of grass. Sorry, I realized I'm not showing you. This. This is what we're building next. I also need, like, I feel like I might have encroached on my middle bit a bit too much as well. Because I need my cornucopia or whatever it's called. I might just have to shift things just over a little bit. Just like that. Lost a load of my trees there. But look, there's, like, this bit in the middle where they all have to like stand. Oh my gosh, we should do this. They all have like a starting block that they have to stand on. And then I don't know what this like weird brutalism statue is. I don't really know. It looks like a downed pi fighter pilot, doesn't it? It looks like a, a downed plane or something. That's where the weapons are. But we need to build our little starting blocks. So let me, are they like on stones? They're kind of on stones, aren't they? Is there a circular stone? But yeah, let's just do them on this. I need 24, jeez. Okay, there we go. 12 little starting blocks. Do I have like a plane or anything? Oh, Oh, by the way, watch this. When you got UI cheats, the most satisfying thing in the world. Oh, wait, what? Literally infinite money. Don't you wish you could do that on your bank account in real life? Just sit at home. <gasps> it's like the cookie clicker. Did you guys ever play cookie clicker? I got so far in that game. I had like nuclear cookie warfare in that game. Okay, let's try and get a downed plane. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so similar. Oh my gosh. I know that it's meant to be black. But the shape, the shape is so similar. Oh, I'm well hyped about that. Get down on the floor though. Why you have to flirt? Get down. Oh, you're a bit floaty and annoying, aren't you? Okay, this is, this is hype. This is hype. And I know you're like, it's not in the middle. But look, it's actually not in the middle. It's slightly to the left. Look at all these little tents everywhere. Okay, let's do a field. I don't know how I'm going to do the fire. I kind of want to start a fire. But if I add that guy that sets everyone on fire anyway, that might help me out. You know, the guy from my other death episode. I just love a good death episode. Maybe I should have put them all on these little things instead. Nah, it's fine. It should still have its own like clarisms to it, right? Oh, it's cool. Moon pillow. Okay, Claire, stop getting distracted by a moon pillow. I want to make that more like lakey like that or like that. I like that because it's quite nice and bright, you know. Nice, nice clear water to die in. And then let's put some stones and stuff around it. Okay, so I've placed a load, a bunch of rocks. Ugh, probably not enough. You have to do so many rocks to try and like, and then intersperse with plants to try and make the pools look more realistic. I realize I probably should use a water fountain, but it's done. Okay, just move on past it. We're fine. I also put like these little rocky formations in places just because I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool just to have rock formations. Like why not, you know? Bit of scree coming down the mountain there. Mr. Bowden, my geography teacher in school would have been real proud of that. Oh, scree, scree, scree. Wow, this is looking way more like ecological than I expected. Okay, now this is this is how I make these look real, but oh my gosh, it takes a long time. You've got to basically try and hide the edge of the pool with foliage. So you've got to go around the whole of the pool and put foliage. Oh, that one's gone in the water. It's not how ferns go. Put foliage there. There's not a huge foliage selection. Well, there's a pretty good foliage selection. There's a lot of plants. What I do is like vary the size a little bit just so that they don't all look like it doesn't look too samey almost. One eternal. Later. Okay, so I've got the water. It's pretty covered, I know, at this point, but otherwise you're gonna see the edge. Now, I'd usually actually not make it look quite as bleak as this. I'd usually put a lot more color, but the whole point is it's meant to look bleak, right? Because it's like, it's not a pool you go and swim in. It's a pool you go and die in. You know, there's a difference. You want your pools to look a little bit different. If they're your death pools, I don't know. Maybe it's just my personal preference, but I like a good old fashioned deadly looking death pool. I will still allow lily pads though, just because I like them. No pizza slices in this one. It's, it's a shame. I know we usually like to throw them in there, but not today. Got some of this like algae stuff where it's got like the shading from the trees has allowed the algae to grow. Okay, looking looking pretty good, I would say. A little reminder. What I was thinking is, I seem to really remember a scene with killer bees. Like literally killer bees. So I was like, uh, I should hide some beehives around so that the contestants get stung by bees. Like, please just tell me that is not genius. Like, hidden bees. Oh, that's not hidden. Everyone will get see these bees coming. Wait, I could make it really small, but will the bees be really small? I don't know how the bees spawn. Okay, I'm just gonna try to hide them back here. But from what I've learned of bees in this game is they're pretty aggressive. Like, doesn't matter if you're hiding right at the back, they'll still find a way to come find you. So we'll, we're just hiding
hiding, hiding little bees around and about, ready to sting our contestants. Okay, looking good so far. Let's get some tents because people love a good camp in this. So got some little tents here. I also remember these are meant to be caves. Now, I don't think I can do caves in The Sims, which is a real shame. So what I'll do instead is some, some nice rock features that kind of look like they could have a cave in them. As usual, definitely taking the whole thing way too seriously, but that's how I roll. If you've been here a while, you should know that already. You should be prepared for this. I like to just go a little bit, a little bit further than is really necessary. You know, would have been fine without it, but let's throw it in there. Plus it makes the contestants more packed in, which means more deaths in my book. Okay, little, little cavey system going on here. I feel like, is it Peter? Peter was sweet. Oh, she was sweet. One of them was sweet to one another in the caves. I think it was her being sweet. Looking after him. Cute. You love to see it. In between all the death. It's just nice. It's a nice break. Nice break from the death. Put some light little grass around the tents. And then this bit I'm excited about because there's a bit where, like most of the map like looks very foresty, but there is like a really cute bit with like these beautiful flowers. And like, I feel like it's this, it is the scene of like a sad thing, but yeah, sad, sad times. However, it is a really pretty little spot. So I was like, why don't we make this like bioluminant pretty flower spot? Cause I think that would be quite cute. I'm using the debug cheat to get some of this stuff, I believe. So if you're wondering why uh, you might not have seen this stuff in the menus before, that is why. You do testing cheats on, show hidden objects. I also do this one and then you search, you can search debug to get it all, but it is also like all around and above. Three weeks later. So there we go, amongst all the sad deathy times, there's still pretty flower area. So I don't know if you wanna die a beautiful death. You've got that option. It's all about options. Okay, pretty flower bit. We need fire. <laughs> we need fire. The fire bit is kind of around here. So I'm just gonna kind of like stretch this tree general area out a little bit here. I said I didn't want too many trees because it will obstruct our vision. Man, I've run out of money so many times. I'll check the price on this bill just in case, you know. In case that's your job, you like to do the accountancy on a Claire Chivon build. I got you covered, don't even worry. I'm trying to think of what other surprises The Sims has that I can just use to, you know, just spice the whole thing up a little bit. Because we got the hidden bees. I think I've also hit a love bush. Yeah, there's a love bush here. You know, because like Peter and Katniss, love can happen in the Hunger Games. Ooh, I know they can't technically actually have weapons, but I'll put a weapons cache here. You know, a wand really, Claire. Just a, a little weapon cash with the mods that I'm using they'll have weapons don't worry I know you guys were worrying for a minute then that it might not be violent but <coughs> 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 Gosh, violent cough. Uh, you guys might have been worried for a moment that it wasn't gonna be that violent. Don't worry, it will definitely be very violent. What? Are, what is this? Oh, it's like a, oh, that's quite cool. Like archeology span stuff. Well, we'll stick some of that down. I could even like put like a crazy, like is there any more pictures of it? I don't think there was much architecture in it. A lot of people have made it on Minecraft. So I keep getting the Minecraft version and I'd be, have to be careful not to get this version with all the palm trees. Cause that's a different, different Hunger Games. That is the second one, okay? Don't get confused. As cool as that is, I won't put it. What I will put though is like little campfires and stuff. That's a pretty good idea, I think. I mean, honestly, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put the Sims in there and they're just, they're not gonna be thinking about like cute, cute little campfires or anything like that. They're just gonna be like, they always shoot each other. They always go for a stupid little headshot. But yeah, they'll start shooting each other in the head real quickly. Don't you guys even worry. So look, little fire here, just in case anyone wants to uh, make an alliance. This can be the alliance fire. Okay, I think we're just about done. I think we've got it all ready to go. I might fill out this a little bit more more before I get to filming it. But the reason I wanted to show you guys the filming process is one, because I've got Ali in this, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I want to get him here to watch it with it, with me so he can see if his character survives. Also, because he's there playing like, you know, Fortnite all the time. Think Sims can't like take it up a notch and be a bit mental and be a bit violent. I'm here to show him it can, okay? He's gonna get to see live just how mental the Sims can really be. So I'm kind of hyped for that. But also I need to know which contestants go in there. Do I use some of my old Sims as, as usual? If you guys would like to see that, please go ahead and suggest some Simulims in the comments below. And I think we are all done with our Hunger Games map. I know it's not quite to scale, but this is the biggest plot I could do. Let me know what you think. Here is how it looks in Los Sims. 
Sims and here is the little recreation of how it looks again. Do you want me to start a fire? Because I can try and do that. I don't know how, but I can try and start a fire in it. But I feel like it's going to be deathy enough as it is. So I don't think we need to worry too much about that. But let me know what you think of my replica of The Hunger Games, the first film. Is it Mockingjay, the first one? I think it's Mockingjay. Let me know what you think of our replica of the Mockingjay map. And also which Sims we're putting in there. Let me know in the comments below. I'll try and get Ali to watch along. Who do you think will survive the longest? Sim Ali or Sim Claire? Let me know. I need another 22 contestants if we are going to do this right. So get typing with who you either want to see die or want to see do some killing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this build video. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.